hi guys welcome back to my channel we're here again with trash talk it's been about three or four weeks since my last video it's actually quite shocking how much stuff i get through if you're new to my channel because i know i've got quite a few new subscribers welcome trash talk is where i go through all of my beauty empties it's stuff that i've used up from start to finish i love these videos they're probably my favorites to film because i can give you full-on reviews about stuff that i like if it's any good if you should buy it if i will buy it again all that kind of good stuff so if that's something you're interested in grab a cup of coffee grab a snack and i will see you in a second as always i'm just going to dive straight in here because i have quite a lot to get through this time i'm going to get the bulky stuff out of the way this is the Smoothie Star Oat Sugar and Shea Breakfast Scrub Body Scrub by Soap and Glory. It has taken me an absolute age to use this up. I used to love it. I used to go through pots and pots and pots of it. It does smell like maple syrup. It smells very sweet. It's very foody. Um, but honestly, I've gone right off it. That's why it's taken me so long to use it up. I do a body scrub usually twice a week. And I had put it off for, I want to say, two or three months because I actually couldn't bring myself to use this. And then I got to the point of it where there was hardly anything left. I love a body scrub. This is a really, really good one. Um, and I have used it on and off for like 10 years. But I think I've outgrown it now. Um, it's a little bit, I don't use the word juvenile, but it just feels a bit young for me now. I don't like the scent anymore. I'm a bit bored of it. And the, the pot is so big. I like now, Soap and Glory is still the, uh, what's it called? The, I think it's like the ultimate scrub or something like that. But the one that's in the pink tube, that is lovely. And it's got that typical Soap and Glory smell. So I'm going to continue to use that. But this one, kind of outgrown it. Uh, so we have the Elemis Modern English Rose Hand and Nail Balm. This has been in one of my handbags for about a year and finally used it up. It's really lovely. It's um, a hand cream that turns into like, I don't want to say oily balm because that doesn't, that doesn't sit right. It goes into the skin really, really well. When you massage it into your cuticles, it leaves them really well moisturised. I use it at night usually, but like I say, this is in my handbag, so it's kind of good for day and night. I wouldn't buy it on its own. I get these in the kits from QVC, TSVs. They usually give you a hand and nail balm. I love it, but I wouldn't buy it on its own because for a hand cream, it's really expensive. Full price, I think it's around £25 or something. And this, um, this Open Glory is around £8.99 for a big pot. Uh, this is the Body Shop Wild Argan Oil Shower Gel. This uh, is actually my favourite smell from the body shop. It's so boring of me. I don't know what it is. I just love the smell of argan oil. And it's exactly what it smells like. It smells like Moroccan oil for your hair. And it is a shower gel, but it is as moisturising as an oil. I don't quite know how they do it. Um, because it says with slow pressed argan oil from the Little Atlas Mountains, Morocco. So I guess it's how they do it. It has got oil in it, but it doesn't leave my skin oily. But when I use this, I don't need to moisturise afterwards, which for me is always a plus because um, I do moisturise every day. But the days that I go to work, I haven't really got time to moisturise. So I love that for that purpose. But yeah, I highly recommend it. We use up another uh, LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm Super Cleansing Treatment Balm. And this, you know, is my ride or die. And it's the original scent, which is just like an LMS spa. This is my double cleanse. This is gets rid of all of the rest of my makeup and impurities. And I wash it off with a hot cloth. And my skin is just, it feels so good and feels so able to breathe. Again, I always get these from QVC in kits, but I would totally, totally buy it by itself. Because once you've used it for a little while, you can't not use it anymore. All right, we have a perfume. Um, it's got a tiny bit left in it, but I, for the life of me, I can't get it out. I don't know what has quite happened. Oh, this is lovely. This is the Hugo Boss. Um, it's just called The Scent. It is for ladies. It's quite a bit there. I wonder if I can unscrew that somehow. But yeah, anyway. Let's see if I can get some on now. Oh, now it comes out. 
fantastic. I will use this up. But this is the scent by Boss and it basically, it's really summery. It's really nice and sweet, but it doesn't smell childish or foody. It's just glorious and it reminds me of holidays. This is my holiday scent. I usually use it when we go abroad. Oh, this year, I have used this up. I bought this in 2019 uh, while we were on holiday in Fuerteventura and it reminds me of that. Well, it did. And then I used it this summer and last summer and it reminds me of lockdown. So um, as much as I love it, I'm not going to repurchase it because now every time I smell this, <laughs> just puts me right off guys it reminds me of sad times um so that's not ideal uh what have we got here touch of silver um for blonde platinum or white hair brightening shampoo since the greys have come in i do use a purple shampoo once a week once every other week um whenever my hair feels like it needs it once your greys start to go a bit yellow i use the rest of this this morning so you can see how nice and bright they are but when they start to go a bit yellow they start to look a bit dull a good old purple shampoo works wonders and this one is really great toning violet pigment um i do use the purple ones because they are the best for my hair. I know some people use blue, but I've heard not to use blue with gray hair. I don't know, but something to do with the color wheel, there's a whole thing. But um, yeah, I I really love this. And I got this as like a, a travel size, just so I could test it really. I have bought another purple shampoo. I got the L'Oreal one, cause it was better than half price. It was like two pounds for a big bottle of it. And I love the conditioning treatment so i bought that but this one i would definitely definitely get and it's a really good option to try the travel sizes guys if you don't want to invest or commit to a massive size it's a really good way around it um what next oh this i really like this i actually forgotten i'd use this up this is the hourglass brow volumizing fiber gel and this is in the shade soft brunette and uh, let me show you the brush. It's really, really nice. So on one side, it's slightly wider and the other side, it's flat. So you comb up your brows there or back comb them and then you twist it round to the, to the thinner side and then you can just sort of shape them into place. I really, really like this. It's as dry as a bone. Look, there's nothing in there. Um, it's so nice and it's 27 pounds. It's quite pricey. I have tried others they don't compare to this so i will get this i have got a benefit one on the go at the moment because it came in a kit but um once that's run out i will treat myself to this again this is my second purchase of this so it's not a first one this is a repurchase anyway so i highly highly recommend it but yeah it is quite pricey but if your brows are your you know your your, your favorite part of your makeup routine then this will be great for them while we're on makeup, this is the Hypnose Volume Aporta Mascara by Lancome. And this is a really weird one. <laughs> I'm not a fan. So basically every Christmas, if you followed me for a while, you know, every Christmas Boots do a Lancome ma mascara, mascara, mascara trio. They do a full size hyp hypnose and they do <clears throat> two or three minis. And those three or four kind of get me through the whole year. Um, but this is just the one that I don't like. It's the only one I don't like. And I I always leave it to last. This is my probably my last, I think it's my last one of the year. And um, I always leave it to last because I don't like it. But I use two mascaras anyway, so it kind of, you know, it works okay. But I'm not a fan of it and I don't know why. I think it's the brush. It's just a really short, fat brush. And uh, it's just really round. And I've got hooded eyes. So once I kind of do that, it goes all up here. And oh God, it's just, it's just a thing. Just, it makes putting on mascara not as much fun as it should be. This one, oh, this one is, is taking me a while to use up. Um, this is the Nails Ink Vitamin E Oil Pen. And basically, you put it, you, you twist it up and it's got like oil in there. And then you twist, you twist the bottom up like that. 
and then you put it on your nails on your cuticles i just kind of just do a bit of that and then you rub it in and it's basically an oil pen for your cuticles it's 15 pounds um and i managed to buy i'm not exaggerating when i tell you this about 20 of them when i before i left nails inc because i had a staff discount that was very generous and um yeah, I basically bought about 20 of these and about the same number of the top coats was my basic. And I bought my, I really went to town with the vitamin E pens, the caviar top coat, Baker Street and Black Taxi nail colours. I went bonkers. Uh, this is the um, Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim in medium brown. I tried to save the end, right end, so you can see how skinny this pen is. But honestly, guys, this one, I loved the Huda micro blade brow thing, bomb brows, I love that. And then I got this just to test it because it was like ultra slim. So I thought, oh, I wonder if this will work. And I actually love this. I really rate it. I would say it's as good as the Benefit Precisely My Brow. I'm going to say it. It's as good as that. And it's $7.99. Um, I would definitely get this again. I have actually got the benefit precisely my brow on the go right now because I bought a kit that I posted on my Instagram. Um, but because I used this yesterday and I use my precisely my brow today, I can tell you this is as good. It's not better, but it's as good. So if you want to save yourself what 17 18 pounds maybelline ah oh, speak of the lancome hypnose the original the og here she is this is probably one of my favorite mascaras of all time because it has that beautiful brush it's kind of flat here but it's got really nice comb so you can really get in there with the lashes and really you know puff them up this is it's dry it's got nothing really it's just all dried out which is a real shame um i've just put black all over my hands that's great but yeah every time i put it on without any mascara on it just kind of looks like i haven't got any on on there you're like that's light it's but actually it's just dried up which is not great uh what else have we got now oh god the rest is pretty much all elemis except for this little number this is my beauty blender when it starts to kind of do that and separate i get rid of it and um, this came in a kit called the god i don't remember now good vibes or something and it came with two beauty blenders this one the original pink one um the soap and like the little tray thing that you clean brushes and this on um it's really good nice but this wasn't my favorite beauty blender it kind of came apart quite easily it's got a different texture to the original one but it worked fine it worked for like two or three months i usually get three to four months out of the original so that's why i'm saying it's not as good but the kit was such good value and i've actually repurchased the kit again because one of my lovely followers sent me a link which i'll post below from beauty bay um of that kit for 21 pounds if you know beauty blender one beauty blender is 18 pounds so that is such a great saving so thank you lisa right here we go this is all elemis guys so i really hope you stick with me Again, all from QVC, all in various kits. I'll post below what I can find um, from QVC. But honestly, I never buy anything directly from Elemis because QVC has most amazing deals. So this is the Elemis Peptide 4 Eye Recovery Cream. I've been using this now for like a year because when they first launched it on QVC, it came in a duo. This is 38 pounds for one of these tubes and the duo, on QVC, which is still available because I just received another one today, um, is £36 for the two. So I just snap it up every time. Uh, this is the Eye Re Reviving Eye Cream. And um, after I film this video, I am going to snip the top off and see what's inside because I'm sure there's a little bit left. But um, it's a really good eye cream. It doesn't irritate my eyes. My eyes are super sensitive. It's good for dark circles. It's good for all that stuff. So I highly recommend it. And it's good for fine lines, which is also what I need. So get involved with that. 
This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Definition Face and Neck Serum. I've only got one left, guys. Once I've finished my Boots Hyaluronic Acid Serum, I'm gonna use my last one of these. I've been kind of alternating. I've used this one, then I've gone on to the Boots Hyaluronic Acid, then I'm gonna use this again. So I'm in the market for a really good anti-aging serum that doesn't cost a billion pounds. Because this, full size on its own, and this is only um, 15 mil, this is really deceptive. Inside, there's a tiny little hole there. It goes up to like there, and it's like a little tube inside. So this is really deceptive. It's not this big, but the serum is amazing. And this, for 15 pounds, is like 96 quid. Um, no, I love it. I recommend it. I adore it. If you've got millions of pounds, go ahead, go off sis, buy this. But for me, the doesn't want to spend a hundred pounds on a 30 day serum because this, this is what that lasts me 30 days um yeah i love it and i'm really sad because i used to sell it on a in a duo on qv uh, sorry a trio on qvc but they don't anymore the pro collagen overnight matrix cream you i'm not going to bore you you know i love it it's amazing look there's literally nothing <laughs> nothing left in it um it smells like lavender it's really good for your skin it basically if you don't know about the overnight matrix it is so um clever that when you put it on your skin adapt to what your skin needs at the time so if your skin's dry it will give you extra moisture if your skin's oily it'll give you less it's just insane and i've used this now for about eight or nine months on and off, not this one, obviously, uh, eight or nine months on and off, and I adore it, and I've still got two left in my stash, so I'm very excited about that, but oh, if you get a chance, try that, it's amazing. And then followed by my favourite day cream, which is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Again, there is not one scrap left in this. Um, I've used this for over a year now, and I one pot of each of these lasts me about two to three months and it's fantastic. Elemis has literally changed my skin. I started to use Elemis when I turned 40. I'm 43 in January and uh, yeah, it's honestly hands down best cream ever and usually on QVC you get a kit where you get a day cream and a night cream and it's usually those two. So if you do get it and thank me later. This is the Elemis Superfood Facial Oil. I love this and I'm actually going to go all out and say it's probably my favourite face oil. Um, I have tried all of them. I've tried the Superfood, this, is this one. I've tried the Pro Collagen, the, the, the original Pro Collagen the Pro Collagen Rose, which I've got on the go right now that I've got in the most recent Stay Special Value. Um, but this one, because I've got oily skin, I've got spot prone skin, this is amazing and it smells so good. Not that that matters, but it smells of spinach, broccoli. It smells green. Don't know if that makes sense. It's amazing. And uh, I got that in a kit that was like 45 pounds for that and two other things. And that is 45 pounds on its own. So yes. Last thing, if you're still with me, hooray. <laughs> um, this is the Elemis Frangipani Manoi Bath and Shower Milk. I cheated and put my Neroli lid on it because this had a silver lid that to screw off, whereas this is a flip top. So I washed it and uh, I recycled. And honestly, this French Panny Manoi, it's, oh, it's so great. I think it's my favourite Elemis scent so far, except for the botanic, botanical one, the British Botanics, whatever it's called. This is so strong and so floral. And I'm not a floral person at all. I kind of hate florals. But this, it's just got that kind of sexy, musky smell to it. And I really love it. Um, again, the Elemis shower milk on its own is £28. Very expensive for a shower milk. But, 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 
always get these in kits from Kiwi, so they're usually every today, today special value. So you usually get three body products, three face products. So you usually get this, the body cream to go with it, and uh, the nail balm, and then three skin things. So I don't think it's worth £28. I love it. When I use this, I don't need to use a moisturiser as well, which is a huge plus for me. Um, it's very luxurious. A little goes a really long way. You get a lovely lather. It's very lovely. I, I'm always happy to have them in my stash. I've still got two or three various flavours and I love it, but I wouldn't pay for it full price. But once I run out of them, I know I'll be really sad. So I don't know how that works, but if there's a kit with one of these in it, I'll be on it. So that's it, guys. The bag is empty for another month. This is actually a really embarrassing haul, but there's quite a good mix of perfumes and body lotions and stuff like that. Um, I am trying to sort of get rid of some of my perfumes because <clears throat> I've got little bits of perfumes left all over the place and I have um, used up some of my absolute favorites, but I refuse to buy more perfume until I've really, really cut my stash down. So when I go into central London next week, I have a few days off and I'm gonna to go to central London. I'm going to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant, Lucky Cat. Um, so I'm gonna to go into Selfridges to Jo Malone and I'm gonna have a little Jo Malone haul because a couple of perfumes that I love there, I have run out of. So, um, I hope you join me. I might do a little haul video or a little vlog if I can, because central London, I haven't been there for like a year and I'm really genuinely excited to go. So if you want a vlog, let me know. I'll see if I could do a little shopping haul, take you around with me. I've never done one before, so it could be utterly shocking, but we will see. So guys, thank you so much for watching and welcome to all my new subscribers. I really hope you stick with me. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I usually upload on a Tuesday, 7 a.m. London time. Any questions or anything, comment below. As always, be kind and I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Trash Talk. This is going to be quite a long one. I have quite a lot of stuff. I haven't done a video for about a month. <coughs> God.